All right, grade two and grade three. I know this is Wednesday. It's actually supposed to be for Thursday, and today is Thursday, and you're getting your your video today, so it's all good. Um, I was making this booklet and the grade four and five booklets. So um, sometimes, I don't know, computers, uh, by the end of the day, my head is spinning from looking at the screens all day. So I was making this late one night and my, everything started to look the same, I guess. So let's go through and read this together and do the comprehension. So look for reasons why things happen. It says, not the way to start the day. Sophie rushed as she got ready for school. She had waited until last night to do her book report. Sophie's idea was great. She had created a small stage and finger puppets to retell the story she had read. But Sophie spent most of the night putting it all together. She did the rest of her homework that morning. The stage and puppets were in the car, and so was Sophie's mom. She did not want to be late for work. Sophie's mom blasted the horn. The noise startled Sneakers, Sophie's cat. He dashed in front of Sophie just as she started to zip her backpack. Sophie tripped and out flew her papers. Gonzo woke up, ready for a chase. As the dog ran, his claws pierced Sophie's homework. Now it was full of tiny holes. Sneakers jumped onto the table where he thought he was safe. Gonzo stood on his hind legs and plopped his big paws near the cat. As he barked, one paw knocked over a glass of juice. Sophie saw the juice drip slowly and steadily onto her homework. She would have a lot of explaining to do at school. Now, just before we get started with this, know that if this ever happens to you in my class, take a breath and bring me what you got if it's if it's got holes if it's covered in juice bring it in and don't feel scared because i i totally understand this this actually sounds like something that could happen to anybody especially in my house with all the animals and the chaos and the kids um don't stress so first of all i can feel sophie's stress as i write as i read this but don't stress because um take a breath like we all need to take a breath right now because <sighs> just reading that stressed me out. That is a stressful way to start the day. So reasons why things happen. Sophie stayed up most of the night putting her book report together because she left it till the last minute. Sometimes that's just how it goes. Um, but she took on a lot of extra stress by leaving it till the last minute. Okay. Um, and then as you can see, her mom's late. She's got all this pressure on her. And that's usually when things don't go your way. When, you're, when you really need them to go your way and you've got a lot of pressure and you're trying to rush to do things, that's when, I'll tell you, that is when my computer freezes. That is when my videos don't upload. That is when the photocopier jams. Never fails. So take a, take a breath and know that it's okay. Everybody, everybody's had a day like this. All right, so let's go on to the questions. It says, fill in the bubble next to the correct answer. Which one is not a reason why Sophie is hurrying? A, her mom is waiting in the car. Oh, she's definitely waiting, or she's definitely hurrying for her mom, so that's not true. We're looking for what's not a reason. She needs to get to school. Oh, she needs to get to school. She overslept. Now, it does not say that she overslept. It does say she was up all night working, so that could be our answer. But it doesn't say she overslept. Just because she stayed up all night working doesn't mean that she slept in. She did homework that morning. Yeah, she did. So our, our answer for why she's not, a reason that she's not hurrying is she overslept. That's not the reason she's hurrying. Although that might be the reason that you've hurried in a morning. It happens. All right. What causes sneakers to dash past Sophie? A, the sound of the horn scares him. So let's look up here where that we talk about blasting the horn. Sophie's mom blasted the horn. The noise startled sneakers. Sophie's cat. Right. Okay. So the noise startled sneakers. Sophie's cat. So the sound of the horn scares him. Yes. And then he dashes past Sophie and then Gonzo starts chasing him because he thinks, ooh, cat's running. I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
I'm gonna go. That sounds pretty accurate with what I know of cats and dogs. Number three, what was the result of Gonzo putting his paws on the table? So Gonzo puts his paws on the table and then what happens? So we'll find that part. Gonzo woke up, dog ran, now it was full of tiny holes. Sneakers jumped onto the table where he thought he was safe from Gonzo. Gonzo stood on his hind legs and plopped his big paws near the cat. As he barked, one paw knocked over a glass of juice. So yes, um, the result of Gonzo putting his paws on the table is he knocks over a glass of juice. Gonzo does. Okay, and we'll just double check. The cat didn't knock over the juice. So that's not it. He makes holes in ho Sophie's homework. The cat actually makes the holes in the Sophie's homework. And he barks at the cat. Now he does. But is that the result of him putting his paws on the table? No. The result is something that happens directly because of, of an action. So his action was putting his paws on the table. The result is that he knocked over a glass of juice. Okay, number four. At the end of the passage, Sophie is worried because... A, she forgot to do her homework. Nope, that's not why she's worried, because she did her homework. B, juice is spilling onto her puppet stage. Now, if you read carefully, the puppet stage is in the car. So no, that's not it. Her mom is late for work. Well, I don't think that's the best answer. She's probably worried about that, but it didn't say so in the passage. It did say that her homework has juice stains and holes. So that is our best answer. Now, strategy practice, we are gonna go and underline the verbs in the passage. Verbs are action words. Verbs are words that describe an action. So we're gonna go underline the verbs in the passage, those action words, okay? So it's used, I'm gonna give you the, um, the answer <laughs> that the dictionary says. A verb is a word that is used to describe an action, state, or occurrence forming the main part of a predicate in a sentence, such as here, become, and happen. So let's go through and find some verbs, some action words. So Sophie rushed, oh, that's an action word, as she got ready for school. So she's getting ready for school. Um, she got ready for school. I guess getting ready is an action. It doesn't really say what she's doing though. She had waited until, oh, waited, that's a verb, until last night to do her book report. Sophie's idea was great. She had created, that's a verb, that's a doing word, a small stage and finger puppets to retell the story she had read. Read is a verb she was reading. That's like an action she could do. But Sophie spent most of the night putting it together, okay? So the action she was doing was putting it all together. Putting it is the verb, it's an putting. She did the rest of her homework that morning. So that's an action, she did her homework. The stage and puppets were in the car, so was Sophie's mom. She did not want to be late. Now notice how did and did have different meanings. This did means that she's doing something. This one is more, it's not a direct action, it's just that she doesn't want to be late for school, for work. Sophie's mom blasted, that's a verb, the horn. The noise startled sneakers. Okay, startled is an action. That's an action. That's something that happened. It's an occurrence. Sophie's cat. He dashed in front of Sophie just as she started to zip up her backpack. Sophie tripped. Uh-oh, that's a verb. That's an action. And out flew her papers. That's an occurrence. They went flying. Gonzo woke up. Oh. That's a verb. He woke. Woke is more the verb, not, not up. Ready for a chase. As the dog ran, that's a verb, that's an action. His claws pierced. Oh, another action. There's lots of verbs in this. Sophie's homework. Now it was full of tiny holes. Sneakers jumped onto the table where he thought he was safe. Now, he thought, that's actually an action because he's thinking. Gonzo stood on his hind legs. Oh, stood. That's an action. And plopped, oh, that's an action, his big paws near the cat. As he barked, oh, also an action. One paw knocked, there's an action word, over a glass of juice. Sophie saw the juice drip slowly, oh, drip. 
and steadily onto her homework. She would have a lot of explaining, also in action, to do at school. All right, so there's lots of verbs or action or occurrence words there. If I missed one, which I might have, uh, send me a message. All right, have a great day. Thank you for joining me for this ELA corrections video.